This is a $600,000 per month mega mansion in Aspen, Colorado. And it's possibly one of the most luxurious winter resort homes in the entire world. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing living in this house to living in this $300,000 per month modern mansion and everything in between all the way down to the cheapest rental in Aspen. Starting off at 5K per month, which is pretty much the entry point for renting here in Aspen. So this is it, are you ready? So it's just about 300 square feet, which is cozy, but I have to say the finishes, they're very well done in here. So let's break down the actual living space. You have the dining room, Seating for two, very cozy, very intimate. You have a nice little built in there. Here is some storage, nice little closet space. Right across from the dining room is the living room, which I'm guessing this also serves as a pullout bed. It looks like that, because it's kind of deep. Right off of the living room, you have the kitchen with actually a waterfall island. That's like a higher end finish. You have induction Bosch cooktop here with an oven below, tiny little sink. This is the refrigerator, which is a mini fridge. And then down below, I'm guessing, yeah, you've got a freezer as well and a baby washing machine. So you're not actually gonna have to hand wash dishes. Then you've got the bedroom in here. Got a queen size bed. So this pockets in closing off the space. So you do have some privacy. And then we have more closet space here. Very, very narrow door frame here where we have a standing steam shower, which is a pretty decent size. You've got your toilet here, and then a modern vanity with a nice little bowl sink. This is a prime example of a nice renovation. You can even look below, we have white oak on the floors. So the finishes are at that luxury level. The price point, you know, 5K per month, that's a lot of money. The average American is making just over $60,000, meaning if you were to rent this, all of your money would go to paying your rent. And this is the starting place here in Aspen as far as renting. So now we're going to 4X the rent and jump all the way up to just about $20,000 per month. We're right in the heart of downtown Aspen. That's the building behind us. Let's check out this apartment. All right, this is the spot. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's just over a thousand square feet. And again, it's renting for $19,000. And it's pretty nice. The finishes are all modern. You can tell they've renovated in here. I love the open concept shelving in the kitchen. Got a skylight. This is even pretty cool. You got wood paneling on the fridge. Then you've got the dining room, little living room. You got a metal wrapped gas fireplace, TV. And now we're getting up in the higher price point. So we actually have some outdoor space with a view of the slopes. From the living room area, let's check out the bedrooms. First bedroom, got some bunk beds here with full size beds. Then again, it connects to the outdoor space. So we're three times the size of the 5K rental. The finishes are much nicer. Even for example, we're getting to those higher finishes here with the built-ins. This is, I'm guessing the uh, owner's a little wing here, another bathroom with a shower. And this is the primary bedroom, king size bed, two chairs with a little table and uh, views of downtown. That's another thing, we are right in downtown, so the location of this property, we're right at the base of the mountain, and that's gonna cost you almost $20,000 per month. For perspective, that's almost a quarter of a million dollars per year just on rent. So now we're jumping up to $80,000 per month. Here's the house right behind me. It's actually not renting, but it's for sale for just under $10 million. And believe it or not, this is kind of like the average price point here in Aspen. The structure was built in 1888 and it was remodeled in 2022. Let's go on inside. As soon as you take your shoes off, You've got heated floors, so you're coming in from skiing. Floors are heated. The house is three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 1,300 square feet. We've actually been staying here for the past few nights, lucky enough, so we're experiencing what it's actually like to be living in a place like this. This is the owner's suite here. Pretty decent size, king size bed. All my luggage here. The bathroom in the house is one of the biggest factors where you can feel luxury. I had a shower in here this morning, and I just sat right there on that, that little bench for like 30 minutes and just, it's so zen in here. Again, heated floors, dual vanity. Back out into the entryway, we actually have two bedrooms on the lower level here, which both have ensuite bathrooms and they're both pretty large. I love how they have all the light in here with the windows. You get tons of views in the space. So up to the third floor, this is like the communal floor where you have the living room here, your dining room, and the kitchen, which is all totally modern. Look at all these appliances. You've got the stove built into the counter. 
And you can see from the last one, the finishes have gone up a notch. Everything in here is all stone, all sleek, all modern. You even then have transom windows at the top. So you can see the peak of the mountain, the ski lift. You've got that stone here with a gas fireplace, TV above, more windows with views of all the historic buildings here in Aspen. Then we've got a powder room off to my side here with a view of the mountain range. You can see the Independence Pass in the distance there. And the most unique part about this listing is the rooftop. We've got a spiral staircase taking us up to your rooftop oasis where you have a hot tub here with a prime view of the slopes here in Aspen. And the unique thing about this listing is that we are higher technically than you can build now. They have permits now where you can't build above a certain height. So this rooftop is one of the highest rooftops in all of Aspen. And with that, you get all these amazing views. Not bad at all for $80,000 per month. This is a proper mansion. We're definitely moving up in the world as far as price point goes. Look at this, the front door is like a puzzle piece. Whoa. Okay, so now this is a big jump here. Right off the bat, you've got double height ceilings in here with this view of Aspen Mountain right in the living room, industrial metal on this fireplace here. So we've got a clear stored gabled roof with 25 foot high ceilings and it's definitely feeling like $350,000 per month. Like you can just, you can sense that the luxury is here. The price is going up. You got the dining room off the living room. You've got the wet bar, a little den here off of the wet bar. And now we're getting into the nice finishes. So this is just a giant slab of marble for the island here. And just look at this kitchen. Six burner cooktop here. Look at the refrigerator. That's how you can tell when the prices start getting high, you get these industrial style refrigerators. Like this is like a chef grade refrigerator here. We have outdoor space here. So this is super rare for Aspen to have half an acre in the flats. So you have the view of the mountain in your backyard, a heated in-ground pool, and just imagine this in the summertime when this is all lush and green, totally different world. And this is super rare because this is actually three lots that have been combined to form this one massive lot. All right, let's head on inside and check out what these bedrooms look like. All right, making our way up to the second floor here. Again, with those materials, we've got Venetian plaster now on the walls. You can even see the walls are floating. When you get to this level, the craftsmanship goes into the price point, along with the materials again, more marble here in this home office, and the primary suites over here, I think. Oh shit! this is like a three inch thick shag carpet, this is wild. Look at this fireplace, again, more of that marble here. You got transom windows allowing light in. Jeez, look at this, and then you have marble even on this back wall here. Let's look at the bathroom with just, I mean, look at all this marble. There's marble everywhere in the bathroom. The entire walls, every wall is covered in marble. We've got a party shower with a ton of fixtures here and a ton of gadgets. Behind the frosted glass, you've got your throne with marble walls in the water closet. This is pretty wild. And then this is the walk-in closet, which is bigger than my first New York City apartment. Jeez, a big jump from that 80K a month. Now at $600,000 per month, this is easily one of the most expensive rentals in Aspen, let alone the entire world most likely. Now as far as stats on the home, we have nine bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, just over 15,000 square feet of interior living space, situated on 6.5 acres of prime real estate, nestled into this valley with Roaring Fork River going through the backyard. I mean, take a look around. We are in a winter wonderland, and this is why people flock to Aspen. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this week's episode, Opera. Now, Opera is a browser that enhances both my productivity and the process of making these YouTube videos. So for instance, creating this episode Episode. The tabs island feature was super helpful. I had like six different listing tabs open just to make this one video. And when editing my home tours, I end up having so many tabs open that it actually becomes a distraction looking for the information that I need. Tab Islands takes care of that problem. And specifically for this video where there was a lot of information, Opera has an AI tool called Aria that helps me when I have to expand on a certain topic that I might not have that much knowledge on. She can also investigate any topic in depth, providing significant information that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And I especially love the ad blocker because like who wants to be distracted by ads when you are working? Opera even has a built-in VPN so you can protect that private data while working on projects that are a bit more data sensitive. Download the Opera desktop today for free by clicking the link down below in the description. With that, Opera, thank you for sponsoring this episode and let's check out the rest of the homes on my list.
Now, as far as the architecture of this house, it's that traditional mountain lodge style with a slight Victorian touch. If you notice the approach to the home, we have this beautiful steeple architecture with almost that Victorian era look to it. So the home was built in the late 1990s, but it has an 1890s feeling. You even have a sheet metal roof complete with the sandstone going up the chimney. And again, that steeple, I love the steeple. It really makes it unique from your typical mountain home. We've got a wraparound porch going around the entire structure. And on the property, we have not one, but three structures here. There's also an in-ground pool, like I mentioned. There's the river behind the property on 6.5 five acres of land, which is a big plot of land for this neighborhood. And making our way into the home through these double doors, I'm gonna get right to it. It is the sheer size and scale of this house, along with the price, that makes it truly something special. Welcome to your great room with 35 foot high vaulted ceilings. And behind me are 20 foot tall glass doors, which fully open up the great room leading out to your back terrace with that view of the mountain range, the valley, the creek in the distance, and all of your land. This house really is built for a family. Just breaking down that price, 600,000 per month. Say you had 20 of your closest friends and family, you would all still be paying $30,000 per person to stay in this house. Starting with the ceiling heights, if you look up, you can see just the sheer size of the beam running down the entire length of the house, fixed right there in the center, and then that gradual slope down to these 20-foot windows here, which perfectly frame the mountain range in the distance. We're facing east, so you have sunlight flooding in here in the morning. The morning light is something else, which then brings us to this feature here. This was renovated and they ripped out this wall, added this glass here to let in the sunlight through the rest of the house, and on that second level there. Then right in the center of the great room, we've got your fireplace. You can see the scale of this with these three natural cut large pieces of stone here. And then the woodwork running up the chimney. It's truly one of those rooms where when I walked in here, I was kind of in disbelief at just the sheer scale of this. Another cool architectural element, transom windows. You can see right now the sun is actually just beaming in through those windows here. So the use of light in this home is another architectural element that you'll find throughout the entire space. And this is really a family home. Imagine a long day on the slopes, you come back here, how comfortable does this look? And there never is really a moment throughout the entire day where there isn't light in this room. If you notice behind me, you can even see the skylight in the stairwell, which then can beam in through those glass walls into this great room. It feels, man, it feels like a, like a church almost. It, it, it has that grand old world feeling that is kind of lost nowadays in architecture. So off of your great room, this is the listening room where we have these velvet green curtains surrounding the entire room to really elevate the sound quality in the space. A record player right in the center here with the aid of these comfortable chairs to really just come in here and lose yourself to your favorite tunes. And making our way back out, you have that theme again of the uh, glass walls to let in the light even into the listening room. Then on the other side, we have a nice wet bar here with a kind of vintage glass on the backsplash. Right off of your wet bar, we have your dining room with this elongated table with seating for 16 of your closest family and friends. And then again, you have that terrace running along the entire stretch of the property. This all opens up, especially in the fall and the summertime, you can really have the indoor outdoor living here. I wanna show this, so you have your listening room, which connects to the dining room, and then this also connects to that main entrance hallway. So you can see just the sheer size and perspective of the house. But now I'm gonna take you to the good stuff, the kitchen. So this is the pantry. Again, the scale of it, like the rest of the house, it's huge. 15,000 square feet is really interesting because recently they passed a permit where you can no longer build above 10,000 square feet in Aspen. So this house, 15,000 square feet, this is grandfathered in. So a house like this could never be built again. We're now in the kitchen slash informal dining space. 
center island here, front and center. We've got the stainless steel in the backsplash giving it that kind of industrial chef feeling. We've got the white on the countertops, the cabinetry here floating above. And then I want to mention again, this all opens up. So during those warmer months, you can have your food out on the terrace here and really take in the land. Then off of your dining room and kitchen, we have the family room with this see-through gas fireplace. How cool is this? So you can actually see framed in the fireplace the aspens in the background. And actually, let's go outside really quick because I want to show you this. So now you can see the other side of that fireplace. And if we pop the drone in the air down below, you have all these hiking paths and the creek. You can hear the sound of the water running, the snow covered rocks as the sun rises over the mountains in the east. Again, the nature is really why people come out to Aspen. It's like a little oasis hidden in the mountains here. What mountain home wouldn't be complete without a hot tub that fits at least like 20 people here. Then you've got your grill station. So this is a continuation of the kitchen area. Let's go on back inside. So off of this kind of family area, and I would call this the family area, it's a bit more modest than the great room and definitely a bit more livable. But off of this, we have a little home office. And then this is that connecting hallway, which I'm gonna take you down. You can actually see now the lower level and then the stairwell leading up. And now we're gonna make our way down the hallway, which I wanna point out is a double width hallway. So it's really from here that you can see the sheer size and proportions of this house. And in the hallway here, we have some powder rooms off to the side. Take a little peek in there. I love that tile flooring. Then right off of the powder room, this is the den slash library area. We've got the wood paneling on the walls. Nice view outside, letting in that light and that bounce off of the snow here. Big flat screen on the wall. There is no shortage in this house of just space to isolate. It's the type of place where you could be here with your family and friends and like not see someone for like the entire week. And here's another view of the entrance. Look how beautiful this is. The view into the great room through this glass wall, the main foyer entrance area. It's really from back here in the hallway where you have the frame of how large the mountain is in that window with that parallax effect. Just the mountains in the great room. Crazy architecture. But we're gonna head now up the stairs to the second level of the house. Stairwell is framed in that wrought iron with the glass leading up to the landing on the second floor. And this is the shot now. So we have that view down from the second floor into your great room with those 35 foot high ceilings. And then I mentioned that we have a skylight in the stairwell letting in that sunset light into the entire space. But behind me here, this is the owner's suite, separate from the rest of the bedrooms as you'll see. And we're technically now in the steeple of the house. And this is the owner's bedroom right into the steeple here. Tons of sunlight flooding in, high ceilings. Off of the sleeping area, you actually have a little side terrace here. And from this view, you can actually see the gondola going up and down the mountain, people off in the distance getting their first early morning runs in. And it's really from this view that you can see how close you are to not only the mountain, but also downtown. So coming back on in from our views, we have a nice desk here framed perfectly with this little window where you have the logs on the outside of the cabin, snow on the rooftop, pines. It really is such a serene place to do creative work or just unwind. I could imagine sitting here journaling, writing a script, then you've got a little sitting area with a TV leading into the owner's bathroom with this awesome freestanding tub going with that Victorian theme mixed with that mountain feeling. I love that with the stainless steel faucet. You've got a steam shower, dual vanity out of the owner's bathroom, heading back out to that main foyer area. We have a laundry on the second floor, just in case you don't want to go down to the lower level, washer, dryer, sink, room to fold. And then again, that view of the great room. I, I can't get over this. How wild is that view? So now as you see, this is the guest wing of the house where we have seven bedrooms here. It's almost like your own personal hotel. Here's a quick peek. We're gonna take that down. But again, that is the largest elevator you can have in a residential home. But let's take a peek at the guest rooms here. Every single guest room has an ensuite bathroom, which is very important. Because then when you have your friends here, they can actually feel like they have their own space. They're not sharing bathrooms with anyone else. Then we have a long terrace 
which connects every single guest room here. Look at this shot. We've got the sun chairs and again that view. Got to pop the shades on and just look at the range in the distance, the sound of the creek down below. We're not going to show every single one. We'll cut to a few B-roll shots because they're all pretty much identical and they are all huge bedrooms. So we'll head back into this last one here. You can just get a little view for yourself of how big these spaces are. I mean, like they're so big where they have like many little living rooms in them. Actually, this bathroom is pretty sweet. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah, look at the light. Another freestanding soaking tub here, drenched in that Eastern morning sunlight. So you could be in this bathtub here, sit in soaking, getting the view from the tub. We're now at the very end of the hallway so you can see that perspective looking back towards the great room behind me here. And then this guest room is actually pretty sweet. It's a little different than the rest. Decent size, but it has this indoor outdoor sitting area here. So there's actually no heat in here. So this is more like an all season room. And again, you can get that view of the slopes. You can see the gondolas going up and down the mountain. I just love how cozy this room is here. This is one of my favorite spots. So out of this bedroom, you get a shot of the stairwell, which leads down to the kitchen area and that little family room. But we're gonna make our way down the guest wing hallway, just so you can get a feel that it, it really is like your own personal hotel here. And the house really is designed for entertaining, having family and friends over. But we're gonna take this elevator down now. Look at this. This is such a big elevator, because typically in houses, the elevator is like really an afterthought. Welcome to the entertainment floor slash more. There's actually a lot more this way. So this is the lower level kitchen here, which then leads to your outdoor space. At the end, there's a whole nother apartment inside this mega mansion. So a whole separate apartment right here. Full kitchen, your dining room, little hangout area with a TV. This is the first bedroom here. Two twin beds for the kids or your least favorite friends. Ensuite bathroom in here as well. And then you've got a whole other bedroom on this side with a king size bed and ensuite bathroom. So this would be the ninth bedroom, I believe. I'm losing track at this point. I can't even uh, drive home that like in New York, this apartment alone, this would be like, I'd say probably a two and a half million dollar apartment, like a two bedroom. And this is just in this house. <laughs> it's a next level of wealth. Stairwell leading up to the kitchen area. And then if we make our way down this main hallway off of the elevator, we then have a powder room, which why not? Let's just take a little peek in here. Actually, this is not a powder room. This is a full on bathroom with a pretty nice shower, a steam shower. And then this is the main stairwell. We have another wet bar here in case that kitchen wasn't enough. And then right off of this little general hub area, check this out. You've got your home theater here. I really like the casual nature of this theater rather than your standard, you know, stadium seating. This is more casual and really has that homey feeling in it. So back out of your theater, past the beanbag area. We've got your home gym, because of course, this mansion has a home gym. Got your free roids, your Peloton, Woodway treadmill, tonal machine right here. Then we have your game room. These are pretty epic. These are 80s classic arcade games here. We've got two of them. We've got your vintage pool table in the center here. Some card tables, ping pong. And then what is, backgammon I think this is? Shuffleboard. And then, uh, then your shuffleboard and the best part, we've got your outdoor dining room with seating for 10. And now we've got what I think is the most important part of this property is the actual land and this backyard space. And from this perspective, you can truly see the sheer size and that Alpine architecture of this house. And this house has something very unique on the property. Off to my left, I want you to comment down below how much you think that this shed costs. So just go ahead and comment down below. This shed right here,
cost five million dollars. This is a Prouvé shed. So after World War II, when Europe was totally bombed and destroyed, this is the original prefabricated home that they then sent out for people who just, they, they literally didn't have homes. And they could pop this thing up in a day. And we have one here on the property, which now serves as a dining hall. So this $5 million shed is essentially a living piece of history that has been turned into an art piece. I don't know about you, but I am a huge history buff and having this on the property, as if that dining room up there wasn't enough, you've got this one now. Look at the view framed perfectly in these double doors of the mountain range. You've got the pines, the snow. I thought this was pretty wild because when I first saw this house on the property, I was like, why is there this old shack sitting on the land? And now you know. It's a $5 million shack. So we have a seating area here, your driveway which leads down from the main road, and then a staircase which takes us even lower down the hill, closer to the stream, which leads down to the pool house and your in-ground pool. So here we have the pool house, and now I'm gonna transport us back a few months when all this snow wasn't here and the aspens were peaking in that golden color. So now you can see the pool in all of its glory, fully built in-ground pool with a hot tub on the side. And you can really get a feel for how this is an all season house. You know, it, I really can't even pick a favorite season. The fall is beautiful. You can see from these drone shots, just the dramatic change from those bright colors to now the snow everywhere and the pool is drained. This is what $45,000 per night rents you here in Aspen. Now, Aspen Street Lodge is a private boutique hotel that you can only book by renting out the entire building, all 26,000 square feet. And now the reason, or one of the reasons why the price point is so high is because of where we're located right now in Aspen, blocks away from world-class dining and shopping. Now, as far as the stats on this listing, we've got 10 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, with just over 26,000 square feet of living space right at the base of the mountain behind me. Starting with your arrival at the lodge, you're given a private access door keypad code, which you can change whenever you want. Come on in. We have to pause real quick. So who is actually renting this place and why is it $45,000 per night or $1.35 million for the month during high season? Well, the experience here can be summed up as ultra high end group experiential travel, which basically means that the wealthiest people in the entire world their family and close group of friends are staying in the best location in Aspen, all under one roof. And of course, the lodge, they plan the entire trip. I'm talking before, during, and after your stay. Anything you want. So here's the check-in desk. And right off the bat, you have all the snacks, food, drinks you want. These are all refrigerator drawers where you have water, soda, whatever. We've got lockers here to put your belongings right upon entry. And this lodge is so exclusive that to book it, you have to book for a minimum of three nights. And the highest holiday rate, which we're at right now, is $45,000 per night, which is on a sliding scale depending on the season that you're booking. So now right off the bat, you get a little water bottle filter here. So say you're about to head out to the slopes, little speaker right here. This first floor has seven bedrooms. All of them have the top of the line finishes here, the best bathroom fixtures. We even have on this floor, a little lounge area right here. And I'll show you one of the bedrooms off to the side here. And the lodge is really perfect for a family. If you have a large family, you're looking for a holiday getaway, this is the spot. And then even we were told that corporations can rent this out. Say you're doing a company retreat, this is the spot to do it. Every room has a gas fireplace. Look how beautiful this is. Built right into the wall there. So you have housekeeping twice per day and there's a ton of other fun amenities that I'll show you as we check out the house. So on the second floor, this is the communal area. We've got your game room. We've got this huge bar in the center. Again, this is basically like another kitchen here. Everything's stocked. You've got your foosball table, your arcade games, massive shuffleboard table, and I haven't even talked about the finishes. If you look at the ceilings, these are all Venetian plaster and the process to have this in a home is extremely delicate and painstaking. You have to get it just right as far as the drying. You've got a fireplace then dividing the space on this far side. 
You've got your game room, Monopoly table here, tons of board games, You've got a bathroom, and then if we check out this other side on the second floor, we have two more bedrooms here with their own balconies. And this is pretty sweet. We have your garage here with your own personal golf cart to get around town. If you don't want to walk or if someone in the family is a bit older or can't walk, you have this electric golf cart to get around. And I also want to mention the entire house is smart. It's all Legrand, which is the best of the best. And then this is actually even more unique than that. If we make our way outside, this is the ski room. So this is an entire room dedicated for when you're getting ready to hit the slopes or you're coming back from a day of skiing. You have all your gear storage here, a heater blasting. You even have hand warmers, toe warmers, and lip balm. They've really thought of everything here. Back on inside, we're gonna actually take the stairs up to the third level. Now the third floor feels the most like a home. So right off the stairwell, we have the office. And I also want to point out that pretty much every single room here has outdoor space, which is pretty rare. And when you come out here, you can now see the slopes. Like we are right at the base of the mountain. This is prime real estate in Aspen. Man, like imagine working in this office. Another see-through fireplace here, which then flows into, this isn't even the kitchen. This is like the second kitchen here. This is your den area, and now we have your kitchen area. Let me just check out this kitchen. Six burner cooktop. You even have a cozy little breakfast nook here. And then you have the transom windows to really utilize your views because perfectly framed in those windows, you can see the top of the mountain, snow covered trees. Also on the third floor off to my right, we have this cool mixed use room, which is currently set up for dinner because there's actually a family coming who I can't say who it is, but they're very uh, well-known family and it's currently set up for their first meal. The lodge also provides the top of the line chefs and there's actually a commercial grade kitchen in the basement. But before I show you the kitchen, we are now on the lower level of the property, which is totally soundproof. And previous people who have rented this out have actually turned this into a nightclub and have paid for world-class DJs to come down here and just have crazy parties. There's also been poker tournaments down here. Companies have rented this out and use it as showrooms. But yeah, this is all included in the space. So this is the chef's kitchen, and this is an actual chef's kitchen that you would find in any Michelin star restaurant. And it really all depends on whatever the guest wants. If the guest wants the chef to be more of a chameleon hidden in the back, they'll be hanging down here. Or if it's a celebrity chef, they want them upstairs as like the entertainment. They can do that as well. This is the suite at the lodge. This is for the head of the family, the CEO of the company at the retreat. Check out this bedroom. The largest of all the bedrooms here. And look at the bathroom in the owner's suite. Check this out. Look how large this is. You've got two vanities here with the beauty lighting built in around these mirrors. This luxurious day bed where you could just fall asleep, take a nap. Here we have the frosted glass where we have your water closet with two, I believe these go for like seven grand, automatic Toto toilets, it's a smart toilet. And then in between here, you've got your shower room with built-in LED light bars around the perimeter there. You've got, what is that, two shower heads, and this is also a full steam shower. Then right across from your steam shower, you've got your Victoria and Albert soaking tub, where you can actually lift up the blinds if you want to people watch while you're soaking in your tub. And an interesting fact about the type of person who is renting out this lodge, they'll typically have their assistant fly in a day or two early and lay out all their clothing for the week. So when they arrive, everything is ready and set for them to relax and enjoy the slopes. And that's the level of the type of person who is renting out this lodge. And at the very top, we've got our outdoor kitchen with our sun deck which has probably the best view of the mountain in the entire town. You've got your jacuzzi, your hot tub, heat lamps to keep you warm, fire pits. So now you've seen everything. You've seen from $5,000 to $45,000 per night. Comment down below, which one was your favorite? I hope you're well watching this, and with that, I'll see you in the next episode.